Hey Saints, just wanted to let you know that I had a dream last night. Um, I saw what looked like a bomb going off. It looked like a nuclear bomb. Because it was powerful enough that I saw it from an aerial view that it was wiping out cities, towns. Just wiping it out. And I also saw... From a closer view, excuse me, what looked like Los Angeles was on fire. Los Angeles, New York, or Chicago? I think it was Los Angeles was on fire. I have reason to believe that that bomb went off somewhere in the United States. Now, I don't know the date of this event. I know that the Bible talks about um, a coming of a great war, which is Ezekiel 38 and 39. So, I don't know when this is supposed to take place. I know it's going to be at the Lord's appointed time. Then I had a second dream that I saw hell. Now, I asked the Father if that was a warning for me, if I did something wrong that I need to fix, you know, because we all fall short of the glory of God, but it doesn't make an excuse you should not be sinning, and I do the best, very best that I can to make sure I'm not sinning. I'm always repenting, going through correction, so the sins can be washed by the blood of a lamb, in, in addition of confessing those sins. Anyway... Uh, what happened was was that I was standing on what looked like the gates of hell and I saw inside of hell and there was like a cliff and it looked like a lot of people were falling in and I saw another part of hell and there was a lot of people chained up it looked like these were souls that just got there and they were being led to a different part of hell. Now, there's other interesting parts that struck me. That I'm about to explain to you guys right now as we speak. Anyway, I had a second dream of hell. I have the four dreams tonight. So this would be the f two dreams of war, two dreams of hell. So this is the second dream of hell. So I'm looking in hell and I see lots of souls in the lake of fire. But then I also see various demonic entities outside of hell waiting for like somebody to open something. Because they were waiting to gain entrance. So, it looked like there was a portal, like a vortex of some kind, of hell. And on the other side of hell, you could see the souls in the lake of fire, and you could see demons waiting to enter the vortex. But then, on the other side of the vortex, which is the entrance where the demons were waiting to get through... It looks like a CERN, the CERN facility. I see scientists walking to and from. I see the um, the facility where they have the machine, the data that they were running. And then I also see that I heard one doctor say, one scientist say, okay, we're almost done. Preparations are made. I think they were saying that, that they had the energy capacity where they needed it to be to run CERN again. So what happened was, was that they said, okay, we are prepared. And then as they were preparing to run CERN, I see the vortex getting bigger. And then I see on the other side, those demonic entities start to enter into this realm straight from hell and the dream ended. I believe that it's, that that dream means, as, as I told you before, 
The Lord closed those dimensions for a reason eons ago. And the Lord is basically saying if mankind wishes to open up those gates, and they wish to, to open up those gates despite the warning of what's on the other side, the Lord was going to accommodate mankind's request. So there was going to be a consequence with the choices made and they were not going to be able to close that gate at all. The first one, I really saw, the first hell dream, I really saw hell and I heard a voice say, many are called, few are chosen. I know the hearts and will judge the hearts of men. I know those who live in secret sin. And I heard, daughter, for every one soul that makes it in heaven, a thousand shall fall into the abyss. A thousand upon ten thousand shall fall into the abyss. Saints, I cannot stress this enough, how important it is for you to get right with God, that we all have to be spotless in the presence of the Most High because all of us any one of us can run the risk of going into that place stay right with Jesus and get your house in order because these are the last days